A grand jury has decided to level criminal charges against Donald Trump. History the first former U.S. president to be facing criminal charges. The network's Dan Prezer has more. A Manhattan grand jury handed down an indictment for Donald Trump yesterday, investigating his role in hush money payments made to Stormy Daniels, an adult film star, during his 2016 presidential election campaign, a claim Trump denies. Such payments are not illegal, and we still don't know the details of the charges brought on by Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg, as the indictment will likely remain closed until Trump's arraignment, but experts think that the possible charges, like falsifying business records, won't stick. Statute of limitations problem. Uh, speed speed was required. I mean, if 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 they were if they were misdemeanors, they they died years ago uh, under the New York statutes. You know, they're going to there's going to have to be some pretty significant legal arguments by the prosecutor as to why. Even a felony is still alive at this stage of the game. Trump responded to the news in a statement calling this a political prosecution and election interference at the highest level in history. And Governor Ron DeSantis followed suit, saying in a tweet that condemns the indictment that Florida will not assist in any extradition efforts. But a lawyer for Michael Cohen, Trump's former attorney, says prosecutors have a strong case. There are lots of facts, lots of documents, lots of evidence of multiple crimes. And before anyone guesses the strength or the weakness of this case, wait to see and read the indictment. I'm just predicting there will be a lot of people surprised at the level of evidence, at the detail of evidence, based on my experience. Trump is expected to appear in court on Tuesday. This is John Pricer with the South Florida Media Network.